Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another Warzone video. Hope you are having a good day or night wherever you are in the world. Do you ever think, I want to get better results on Warzone? I want to improve and get more kills consistently? Well, not to worry. In today's episode, I'm going to help you get more kills in Call of Duty Warzone. I noticed from my own experience, I was losing a lot of unnecessary gunfights. However, with a few changes and some things to keep in mind, I was able to get way better results now. So throughout the video, we'll talk about the importance of isolating your gunfights so you're not stuck in bad situations. Situations. I'll show you some bad and good examples to show you how it works. We'll talk about the importance of using the environment to your advantage. People are often so fixated on the enemy and forget to use the environment to help you get more kills. This is probably one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of players make, not using the environment to your advantage. We'll also cover some other stuff to make sure that you're the best player you can be on Warzone. Remember to tap the like button if you enjoyed today's episode. Sub to the YouTube channel for more Warzone content. I, I do make a lot of loadout and tips and tricks videos. Check me out on Twitch at Anos Gaming TV. Come hang out and have a chat. Also, check out my merch store, www.anosgaming.com if you want to support the channel. We've got cool gaming t-shirts and hoodies at super high quality and shipping is worldwide. With the intro out of the way, let's begin. Tip number one, isolate your gunfights. Back when I first started playing, people used to say, Endos, isolate your gunfights, dude. I didn't really understand, like, what do you mean? How do I fight people one-on-one -on -one if I'm getting pushed by two people? I can't control how the enemy will attack me. However, after getting into thousands of gunfights on Warzone, it's all about multitasking. You need to be shooting the enemy while thinking about cover, angles, and how open you are to multiple targets. There are so many times where I bump into two or more targets and think, I'm way better than these guys, I can do this and then I just get smashed. I think there are a couple options when you bump into multiple target which happens quite a lot in Warzone. Option number one, just dip, get out of there, try to take high percentage gunfights to get better results. Option number two, kill the first one, dip out and then re-challenge on your own terms. Option number three, while killing the first target, move towards cover at the same time. Getting your body into a safe position while taking out the first target is super effective. Don't just stand still and shoot, especially when two people are trying to take your life. Let me show you an example how I don't take any of these initiatives and get taken out with ease. As you may have noticed, I wasn't happy, but watching it back, it's something I could definitely improve on. I should have broken line of sight and re-engage. I was in the open for way too long while taking out the first target. Let's break down some scenarios where I isolate my gunfights a bit better. In this scenario, I'm just playing a loadout for the squad, just trying to be a good teammate. I spot an enemy in the corner of my eye. I get some shots in, but the target gets away. I'm pretty determined now to full send. So I tip always fly cancel into rooms to get Pika's advantage. At this point, I'm in trouble. There are two targets in the vicinity. I'm thinking, how am I going to isolate these gunfights? I take out the first enemy. It's very subtle, but I'm already strafing towards the door. Once I get the down, I quickly exit the room and break line of sight. With the power of friendship, my squad mate has live pinged the target for me. So I perform my slide cancel into a jump shot to finish the job. As you can see, this is a better example of me isolating gunfights when bumping into two enemies. But you're probably thinking, Andos, they didn't even shoot you back. What if the people I'm versing are sweats? Well, let's break down another scenario where the difficulty is a bit higher. In this scenario, I'm playing with randoms. However, I tend to go off on my own and practice solo trios. It's a very efficient way to improve your skill level, especially when it comes to isolating gunfights. Right now, I'm just waiting for the enemy to make a mistake and I hear footsteps behind me. I immediately peek this corner and trade shots. I managed to get the down perfect, but did you guys notice something? It's very subtle, but very important. Let's rewind it a couple frames. While I'm trading shots, I've already noticed the second enemy coming up the stairs. So in my head, I'm thinking, I need to break line of sight immediately and get into cover right after this gunfight. Even though I have broken line of sight, I get shot through the wall. Anyways, I ego chow, utilize Pika's advantage and get the kill. The situation worked out pretty well. I was able to utilize my movement to get in and out and take out the targets one by one. Another question though I get a lot, what if I don't have cracked movement Andros? You don't need cracked movement to isolate gunfights, you just need to play it smart and use your angles. In this example, my teammates are down bad and they need to clear this room to help out. I spot two targets, one person is facing the other way so it's good news. Notice while I'm shooting, I'm moving backwards into cover. This is how you isolate your gunfights. I managed to get one down, broke line of sight. Notice the bullets from the second enemy can't hit me. So now I can fight the next enemy one on one. The situation worked out pretty well. I managed to take out the targets. Remember to isolate your gunfights. 
Tip number two, centering. I know on this channel, we get into the nitty gritty, specific details, really break things down and talk about some advanced stuff when it comes to taking gunfights. However, I want to bring it back a little bit and talk about the fundamentals. Bottom line, to get more kills on Warzone, you need to have good centering. When you don't have good centering, all the other stuff I try to teach you or information I provide will not be as effective. Having good basics and solid foundations are key to further advancing your skill level. However, your centering and crosshair placement is not up to par. This will definitely hurt your growth as a Warzone player. Majority of the time when I kill an enemy, I want my crosshair to be on target. I only want to aim down sight and shoot. I don't want to make adjustments to my aim because I want my centering to be on point. Crosshair should be pointed around the enemy's chest level. I know when you're looting, everyone tends to look down a bit or just running around the map. I do it as well. But remember to be self-aware when you are about to get into a gunfight or if you're in high traffic areas. Have your crosshair ready at chest level to shoot. The reason why I recommend centering around the chest area is because if the enemy drop shots, you can drag down or if you're good enough, just adjust your aim, use the recoil and go for the lethal headshots. Just to show some gameplay as an example, I spot an enemy in this room. My centering is good. My crosshair is already on the enemy. All I need to do is aim down sight and shoot. Having good centering will definitely help you get more kills. Remember to keep that in mind. Another thing I would highly recommend you do is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, sub to the YouTube channel to join the A squad, and check me out on Twitch at Anos Gaming TV so we can be best friends. Tip number three, pre-aiming. Now that we have covered centering, there is nothing else I want to talk about that is also very important. As you may know, I live and breathe Warzone. I watch a lot of top players stream and study the habits of the elite. And something that I've noticed good players do a lot is pre-aim. Good centering is a must as discussed before. However, being able to pre-aim, have the enemy appear and shoot will guarantee you the kill most of the time. You're already aiming down sight. All you need to do is pull the trigger. A lot of people tend to run around and when they see someone, they aim and shoot. Just not being prepared and relying on reaction time alone. Good players scan areas, pre-aim certain spots, listen for audio cues, anticipate enemies during gunfights to give themselves the advantage. Look, it's not always going to happen where you're pre-aiming and someone's going to be there. However, it's a good habit to have to constantly pre-aim spots. In this gameplay, I'll be pre-aiming certain spots while moving to different positions. I'm trying to be prepared in case an enemy appears. First spot I pre-aim is down the hallway, no one's there, I move on. I go up the stairs, I pre-aim the doorway, it's safe, so I proceed. I pre-aim the hallway and I hit the jackpot, an enemy appears. I managed to get the easy kill just by pre-aiming and being ready. Remember to utilize this technique in your own gameplay as well. I know some of you may be thinking pre-aiming doesn't actually really work during gunfights. I respectfully disagree. Let's break down another scenario where I'm versing a whole squad to show how important pre-aiming is. In this situation, I'm fighting a full squad. My teammate just got down, so I need to fend for myself. I spot an enemy in the corner of my eye and shoot a couple of shots. I've given away my position and I can't see the enemy. So I slide cancel around the corner to change the angle and I get the kill. I notice on my minimap that people are fighting outside on the lower level. Always try to third party when possible. I managed to get the easy kill, however, I hear footsteps. I know I'm about to get pushed. Here's where I start pre-aiming. I know I'm about to get pushed. I pre-aim to the right side, nothing there. I pre-aim back to the left and voila, and I get the kill. I made that kill look easy by anticipating the push and pre-aiming certain spots where I think the enemy will appear. Make sure to pre-aim during your gunfights to help you get more kills. Tip number four, use the environment to your advantage. When I say use the environment to your advantage, basically what I mean is always try to have cover nearby. It can save your life. If you're in a gunfight, if you feel like you're out in the open, you're at risk, don't stay in that position for too long. Try to find some cover nearby. Always try to have an exit plan when possible. Being able to use movement and the environment to your advantage will just make you a better player. The environment is a huge aspect when it comes to winning gunfights. You can use cover to reduce your hit markers or walls to break line of sight so you can break people's cameras. Next time you're playing Warzone, pay attention to every box, every wall, every single piece of cover nearby. Cover is your best friend. The majority of the time, people think you need to play full aggressive and just run in gung-ho and you'll be able to get high kill games. I think there is more to it. Even when I'm pushing, I'm focused on the enemy, always trying to pay attention to what's around me so I can use it for cover to give myself the advantage or if something goes wrong. Well, that is it for today's episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. I recently made some changes where I'm releasing 
two videos a week. One is more focused on tips and tricks and the other one is more related to testing weapon builds and the best loadouts. So far, so good. However, I am noticing the workload getting a bit higher with the TikToks, the streaming, the day job, YouTube and everything else. Saying that, I still want to produce the best quality videos I can put out. I just want to say thank you to you guys for showing me all the support and watching the videos. Please smash that like button, share with the mate, sub to the YouTube channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyways, I wish you guys all the best and good luck on the Warzone.